Hi guys, this is Sadek from Driving.com and in this video, we'll show you how to install the latest Dofus GSI ROM based on Android 14 onto your Android phone. So please take a backup of all the data on your phone and then let's get started. First and foremost, you will have to download and extract the Android SDK platform tools. So get it from my guide and extract them onto your PC. This is the link. You could get it from here and extract it. As you could see in my case, I have done the extraction in C drive and these are the files just a minute let me show you the files of the platform tools so these are the files of the platform tools folder you could extract them anywhere you want once that is done your next course of action is to enable usb debugging and oem unlocking usb debugging is required to execute adb command whereas oem unlocking is required to unlock the bootloader on your phone so let's now carry out both this task depending on the phone that you own the steps might be slightly different so that's not an issue so first off you will have to go to settings menu then go to about phone and tap on build number seven times in case of zomi phones it's miui version so tap on seven times and you will get a prompt that you are now a developer so now go back then go to system and or additional settings in case of zomi and you should now see developer option go there and enable the toggle next to oem unlocking as well as usb debugging you will not get a prompt on your phone check mark i am aware of all the risk this prompt is only for the zomi phones in all the other phone you might not get any such prompt so anyways moving on now tap on ok and you might now get an rc key prompt as well so tap on ok with this debugging is now enabled so let's verify the same so go to platform to folder address bar type in cmd and hit enter this will launch command prompt inside platform to folder now type in adb devices and make sure that you are getting a serial ID. If you are not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging. Use the official cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out these USB tweaks and make sure that you are getting an ID. Once you are getting this ID, your next course of action is to unlock the bootloader on your phone. Do note that doing so will wipe off all the data and it might make the warranty null and void as well. If that's well and good, then you could refer to my guide to get this job done. In case of Xiaomi, you will have to use the Mi Unlock tool. Whereas all the other phones such as the OnePlus or the Pixel phones just requires the fastboot flashing unlock command. So use the command or the tool to get this job done. Once that is done, you will now have to download the Android 14 GSI ROM. In our case, we are downloading the DOFS ROM. So let's open the link. And as you could see, currently there are two builds. One is the VNDK light and the other is the non VNDK light. Both are A ARM64 because nowadays all the Android phones are ARM64 architecture only. But still, I will show you that as well how to verify the same. So in our case, we have to check if we want to download the VNDK light or the non VNDK light. For that, all you have to do is simply install the app known as Triple Info from Play Store. So just a minute, let me show you. So install the app Triple Info and then launch it. Then go to the details tab and from here check the linker namespace isolation se section. In my case, it's showing as VNDK is not in light mode. So my phone is not non VNDK. So I will download a GSI ROM which does not have VNDK light in its name. I am again repeating if it's showing as VNDK is not in light mode. So you will have to download a non VNDK ROM. In, or if in your phone, if it's showing as VNDK is in light mode, then you will have to download the VNDK ROM. So in our case, it's the non VNDK ROM. So get it from here. And once you have got the ROM, you will have to extract it as well. For extracting, you could use the 7-zip software. So let me show you that. By default, it will be in a .exit format. So right click on it and choose show more option. Then select 7-zip and extract to this will extract the GSI ROM and you will get the IMG file. So this is the IMG file. Simply copy this IMG file and paste it inside the platform tools folder on your PC. So let's get this job done. And with this, we have transferred the GSI ROM inside the platform tools folder. Now let's move ahead with the next step. So moving on, you will now have to download the VB meta file for your phone. It should be of the same firmware which is currently installed onto your phone. You could verify the same from the build number of your phone. So for instance, in my case, let me show you. It's 14060 TLMINXM. 
सो मेक श्योर टू डाउनलोड द सेम फॉर्मवेयर वर्जन विच करस्पॉन्ड टू योर फोन सो लेट मी फर्स्ट शो यू दैट फॉर्मवेयर एज वेल सो जस्ट अ मिनट सो इन माई केस एज यू कुड सी सो एज यू कुड सी दिस इज द फॉर्मवेयर इन माई केस मंच इन इट्स द फॉर्मवेयर फोर्टीन जीरो सिक्स जीरो टी एल एम आई एन एक्स एम सो आई बी यूजिंग दिस फॉर्मवेयर फॉर जॉमिंग फोन द फॉर्मवेयर इज सिंपली इज नॉट इन अप फॉर्मेट सॉरी इट्स इन अ डॉट टी जी जेड फॉर्मेट सो यूल हैव टू राइट क्लिक ऑन इट एंड अगेन सेलेक्ट शो मोर ऑप्शन देन सेलेक्ट सेवन जेप एंड एक्सट्रैक्ट अपॉन एक्सट्रैक्शन इट विल गिव यू अ डॉट टार फाइल सो यूल अगेन हैव टू सेलेक्ट द डॉट टार फाइल एंड अगेन डू द सेम प्रोसेस एंड देन यू विल गेट अ फोल्डर एंड इन साइड दैट फोल्डर यू विल गेट अ फाइल सो दिस इज द टार फाइल एज यू कुड सी सो अगेन यू विल हैव टू एक्सट्रैक्ट द टार फाइल एंड अपॉन एक्सट्रैक्टिंग ऑफ द टार फाइल वाई द सेम प्रोसेस यू विल देन गेट अ फोल्डर लाइक दिस so now go to this folder and inside that are the images folder go there and simply copy the vb meta dot img file and paste it in the platform to folder on your pc on the other hand in case of oneplus phone the firmware is in a payload dot bin format so initially the rom will be in a zip format so extract the rom and you will get a payload dot bin file so you will then have to extract the payload dot bin file using a tool which is known as fastboot enhance so let me just show you this is the tool simply paste the payload bin file over here then launch the fastboot enhance tool and load the payload bin file inside this folder this tool okay so it's already running let me close it once so load the payload bin file inside the tool then go to partition select the vb meta and just simply extract the image choose the location and click okay so with this you have got the vb meta file so depending on the firmware in case of pixel it's the firmware are in a zip format so you go simply extract it via winzip or winrar so depending on the firmware type you have to do the extraction just keep in mind that it is of the same firmware version which is currently installed onto your phone as i have shown you in my case it's the 14060 tlmin xm and also it should be of the same region in my case it's the in region which is the india region so with that said as of now we have both the rom file as well as the vb meta file inside the platform to folder on our pc once you have done that let's now move ahead so now you will have to boot your phone to fast boot mode so simply open cmd window and type in adb reboot bootloader and hit enter and your phone should now boot into fast boot mode in a matter of few seconds once again the fast boot screen might vary depending on the phone that you own that's not an issue we'll verify the connection as well so let let's just wait and as you could see our phone is now in the fast boot mode so let's now verify the connection so type in fast boot devices and make sure that you are getting a serial id if you are not getting any id then you will have to install the fast boot drivers i made a separate guide and a video on the same you could refer to my guide and get this job done once you have installed the drivers use the windows x shortcut keys and choose device manager then expand the android phone section and make sure that your phone is being shown as android boot or interface so this as well as the serial id next to fast boot signifies that your pc is able to read the phone in fast boot mode and you are now good to go ahead so next up we will first and foremost have to disable the verity or the verification check by flashing the vb meta file so simply copy this entire command and then paste it in the cmd window just verify that the vb meta file is there inside the platform to folder on your pc if that well and good then simply copy this command and once that is done paste the command in the cmd window so just a minute let's do that so let me copy the command from here and paste it in the cmd window and hit enter with this the verification has been disabled so let's now move ahead and now you will have to boot your phone to fast boot d mode so type in fast boot reboot fast boot and hit enter and your phone will now reboot to the fast boot d mode once again the screen might vary depending on your phone so in my case as you could see in the video uh, i am owning a poco f4 so this is the fast boot d mode in case of pixel this will be the fast boot d screen anyways now moving on by default the gsi rom will not be able to fit in the system partition so you will now have to make space for making space for the gsi to be flashed you will have to remove the product partition from your phone so let's now remove that partition from our phone so simply copy this command and paste it in the cmd window and hit enter and with this we have removed the product a partition once that is done 
you could now simply go ahead and flash the GSI ROM. So for the ease of convenience, let's rename the GSI ROM to something shorter. So let's just rename it to system and the complete name becomes system.img. So you may now copy this command and simply paste it here and hit enter. The flashing should not begin in a matter of few seconds. So let's just wait for the time frame. And as you could see, it's now started the flashing process. It's currently flashing one of 16. It will flash the 16 files. So in some cases, you might get that fail to resize the partition size or something like that. If you get that error, then in that case, it might be the case that the system file or the GSI ROM is being flashed with the system B partition. So you have removed the product A partition, but the GSI file might be flashing to the system B partition. That's not an issue. Simply remove the product B partition as well and then retry using this command. This time the flashing will go without any issues. So you could keep this point in mind. I have made a separate guide and a video on the same as well. You could check out my guide as well. So if you are getting any error over here, then it will be the case that the product A might not be the same as the system B. In other words, you have removed the product A, but you might be flashing the system B partition. So in that case, simply remove the product B partition as well and then reflash using the same command. And this time the flashing will go without any issues. So anyways, let's just wait for the flashing to complete. So guys, the flashing is just about to get over. And as you could see, the flashing has now been done. So with this, we have flashed the GSI ROM. Now your next course of action is to do a format data. For that, you could just use this command. So copy this command. Do note that this will wipe off all the data from your phone. So simply type in password space dash W and hit enter. This will wipe off all the data from your phone. Once that is done, you could now reboot your phone to the OS. So just type in fastboot, reboot and hit enter and your phone should now boot to the newly flashed GSI ROM. So let's just wait for a few seconds. Do keep in mind that this is the first time we are booting our phone to a new OS. So you might notice a few seconds delay, but this is just for the initial first time boot up from the subsequent boot up. It will not take that much longer. So it's completely normal. And as you could see, we are now inside the Dogfest ROM. And this is the boot animation or the boot logo. And we'll have to wait for a few more seconds. And then we'll proceed ahead. As of now, I'll skip the initial setup process and take you to the OS. So let's just wait for the time frame. In some cases, it might get stuck here at around a couple of minutes as well. Again, that is completely normal and nothing to worry about. So let's just wait for a phone to boot up and then we'll move ahead and check out the some of the features of this ROM as well. So guys, with this, we are now in the Dorfest ROM. It took around 30 seconds to boot up. Anyways, with that said, let's get started. As of now, I am skipping the initial setup process and take you to the OS. And as you might see, the ROM come inbuilt with the G apps. So there is no need to flash the Google app packages. It comes with the basic G apps with just a few Google apps and packages, but it is enough to get the job done. So, so with this, we are inside the OS and this is the Dorfest ROM. And this is the QS tiles. Let's go to the settings menu. First off is the PHH treble settings. If you are, and the zombie features are some of the features for this OEM itself. This section will vary obviously depending on the phone that you own. So in zombie, we have the double tap to wake and the sunlight mode. Then there are a few Qualcomm features as well, as you could see from here. So if you're facing any issues with audio, whether the in-call audio, earphones audio, or the normal audio as well, then you could enable the alternate audio policy, the second option. Then we have miscellaneous features, some tweaks. These are development level tweaks. So make sure that what you are doing beforehand, please verify the same and only proceed ahead with caution. As you could see, these are some of the tweaks of the development level. Then we have IMS features. So if you are facing 4G or 5G issues, then you could create a new IMS APN and fix that issue as well. Apart from that, there are a few customization tweaks in this one. There are just a basic customization features, not much. As you could see, this is the initial build only. 
so regarding the icon shape we have quite a few icon shape at least well that's good to see then the font family as well so the icon shape and the font family are quite a, a lengthy list icon pack you will have to install from the third party sources but the font family and the icon shapes are quite a lot as you could see then let's go back and apart from that it's just the basic gsi rom as you might already be aware of let me show you this is the build number of this rom and this is the latest android 14 based on the android 14 version so guys on that note i round off this video do note that this is the initial build over the course of time there will be more features added and the rom will be optimized even further so do keep a check of this section i have link given this link from this link new builds will be added as you could see this is the first build so as and when new builds are added the rom will be optimized even further and there will be new features added and the bugs will be fixed as well so guys on that note i round up this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching